Hello, everybody. Steve Matthews here, otherwise known as Teeth of the Lamb on YouTube. I can also be found on Facebook under just Steve Matthews. Today we're going to talk about the rotation of the face of the moon as we observe it crossing the sky. The prevailing thought is that what causes the apparent rotation of the face of the moon is field rotation due to a person's perspective. And, you know, I, I can agree with that at this point in time. However, field rotation and perspective have rules, and what we observe has to follow those rules. Not just some of the time, but all of the time. The moon must exhibit a constant rate of speed and a constant rate of rotation. A rapid increase in the rotation of the face of the moon would mean that something else is at play and it's not following the rules of perspective and field rotation. I've been watching the moon recently because I could see with my own eyes that it was apparently rotating and uh, so I wanted to get further evidence of that and so I ended up recording the moon on you know several different occasions every hour or every half hour and um, notice that yes it does indeed appear to rotate which would follow the rules of perspective and field rotation and I understand that and I totally agree with it. So what are my observations at this point in time? Well the moon does appear to rotate as it crosses the sky that's for sure. Again I say however it didn't match what I expected to see which would be a gradual rotation as it goes across the sky at an even speed. And what I've been observing is, yes, it does an even speed, and then at times it will make a sudden leap forward. And what I mean by that is that the moon will move at an even speed, and the rotation will be even also, and then over a period of half hour, an hour, the rotation will advance forward out of sync with the actual movement of the moon. I stumbled across this somewhat by accident. Actually what I was doing was taking a photograph of the moon every half hour or hour and I was watching the shadow to see if it actually progresses slightly across the moon. And I started seeing gaps which I thought, well, maybe I forgot to take a, a photo that time. But when I looked into it, I found that, no, I indeed took my photos at in incremental times, and it had rotated further than it did the, you know, earlier. And I thought, that's odd. So I went back to my library and uh, took out some other uh, photo shoots and laid them out on the timeline above. And so I've got three different occurrences where I've seen this happen at irregular intervals. But actually, I don't think it's irregular. I think that what God makes is uh, very consistent. I don't know what the time frame is. Even though I have three separate occurrences where I find that advancement of the rotation in a short period of time, there's also another one. I remembered on timeanddate.com during the last lunar eclipse that they also showed this moon not doing any rotation and then making a vast leap forward at the last stage. I've sped this up quite a bit, but pay attention to the uh, Sea of Crises on the top, that round crater, and watch what it does, or what I should say is what it doesn't do, and then it does. That's interesting. Seems to kind of go along with what I was uh, seeing myself. Here's a real quick little video by Midway Mayhem. Seems to corroborate with the uh, time and date animation and also seems to confirm what I'm seeing in my photographs. So maybe this is something that happens on regular intervals. Now again, pay real close attention to the Sea of Crises, that round crater at the arrow. It doesn't 
seem to move at all. Then at the end, you can't see it at all because of the shadow, but as the penumbra moves off of it, watch where the Sea of Crises ends up about at um, the three o'clock mark. Again, this looks like it substantiates what my suspicions are. Look at that, it's basically jumped about a quarter of a turn. Now if this had continued, I've seen videos that show it moving over a half, a quarter of a turn, nearly a half a turn. So now I have sufficient reason to suspect that something's going on. I've got three occurrences of my own, which I've stumbled across. I had this in mind too, I remembered it. And I've got time and date, their animation shows it, and video evidence from Mid Midway Mayhem. And I've seen others that, that show the same thing. A stationary moon, and then at the last stage of the eclipse, moving a long ways, and it doesn't take very long for that uh, penumbra to move off the moon, whatever time that was. So I encourage everybody, blow the dust off your cameras, take it outside on a tripod, and set it up in one location, get a photograph of the moon every hour or something like that, and line those photos up and see if you don't have a jump in the, uh, in the movement. Uh, I'm going to go over my uh, diagram that I showed earlier of, of the photos that I got here just in a moment. I just want to encourage you, don't be dissuaded by the naysayers. I've had people say, oh, I've been looking at the moon for 40 years and I've never noticed anything like this. And you see, I looked at it for a couple hours and look what I saw. And it's not substantiated yet, but I will, I will confirm it whether it's actually doing that or not. I have compelling evidence that it's doing that. I had one uh, fella comment on one of my videos. He said, I've been watching the moon for five years and I would have seen it if it rotates. It has no appearance of rotation whatsoever. And he called me all kinds of beautiful names. It does have an apparent rotation. I don't care what any of them say. You can take your camera out and prove that to yourself. And I have. The sad part is, one guy had been watching it for 40 years, and another guy for five years. And neither one of them could see the most basic thing. They're just not very observant. So what I tell them both, you need to go back and take another look <laughs> because you're missing something. So now I want to take just a moment and talk about the uh, photographs that I've taken and how I've laid them out. So what I've got here is up on the top row. That timeline shows gradual progression, pretty much what I would expect to see with field rotation and perspective. And I don't see any real problems with it. I did I have an arrow at the beginning there because it made a pretty drastic jump right when I first started recording it. But um, again, that's inconclusive. So anyway, that day, I really got laughed at for saying it, but toward the end of the day, you know, this was only like one o'clock in the afternoon, it started fading out. And it was a beautiful day. As you can see, you don't see no clouds in any of those pictures the whole day. It was a beautiful day and the sun was real bright. So I've been recording that whole time in a very bright sun. And then it started fading out. I couldn't even get a focus on it. And I've had the same thing happen on uh, one other occasion. But it's certainly worthy of noting and, and something to keep your eyes open for. I've, I've been talking with uh, Richard at Mr. Thrive and Survive, and we've been talking about some of this stuff and hope I'm not getting him in trouble for stuff that's really not substantiated, but you know, that's how great discoveries are made. You lay everything out on the table, you brainstorm it, you say we're gonna check these things out, and some things don't pan out, but sometimes other things do. So on the center line on 216 of 19, just the other day, I took these photographs of the moon, and as you can see, about the 10 o'clock position, uh, 
it makes a quite a jump there in just an hour's time. And so I wonder what's going on, why it's moving that much in just a short period of time. Because I don't have big gaps between most of these uh, photographs. Then on the third line, the photos were taken on 1 29 of 19. We've got about 11 o'clock or so. Actually, the arrow should be one photo back. and um, But we got, again, another pretty sizable jump in just a half hour's time. So, you know, it's make me wonder, is what we saw during the eclipse something that happens often? and uh, maybe on a regular basis. Uh, well, it's uns unsubstantiated, but we need to be watching to see if that's true. And don't listen to the naysayers because they're all jumping around by like a bunch of hyenas and I Indians on the warpath because anybody's going to dare to take a look and challenge their thought. So on that note, I'm going to say everybody have a darn nice day, and like and subscribe, and don't forget to pull your cameras out and get some photographs of the moon every hour or so. Bye now.